17th season at UConn, James Jones and the Yale Bulldogs taking on the Huskies. Jones, a pregame speech, getting them crunked. And let me tell you right now, we come together like we can. And we play hard. We can take on anybody. And we can beat anybody. All right? Let's go stop. Let's go. All right, that got us going. You caught up by four, though. Paul Vitelli making things interesting. Vitelli enjoying the view. Brings Yale within one, and then Vitelli. Three for six on three-point range. Yale is leading by one. Ameka Okafor. Okafor will get the ball. Right there, he's been lifting a top 10 nominee. Pulls the Huskies within one. Time running out on the half. Yale holding on to that one-point edge. The ball is ticked around. Justin Simon with a soft touch. Yale is leading 31 to 28 at the break. Yale by one in the second half. Huskies pulling away to Lee Brown to Josh Boone. Six points for Boone, five assists for Brown. UConn on top, and then they were up by six. Brown with a miss. Okafor with a follow-up. Nine of 16 from the field. Wow. Later in the second, Ben Gordon to Okafor for the jam to seal it. 21 points, 13 boards. Jay Billis, what do you think? The difference in the second half was the defensive intensity that UConn came out with that really forced the tempo and got their running game going. And also, it was All-American Emeka Okafor. When the Huskies got the ball inside to Okafor, he really was devastating. 21 points, 13 rebounds, and changed the game. Jim Calhoun gets his 400th win with the Huskies after a very tiny scare. Ten-point victory. The team that beat him in last season's Elite Eight, 11th-ranked Texas, hosting Brown open the new campaign. No TJ Ford to rely on. Royal Ivy with the ball, top of the key, fakes the ball to the left, takes out a couple of defenders in the fake, and then drives, keeping a third defender near him, and then the dish to Brandon Mouton for three. In the second half, Kenny Taylor's got the ball. Nice pass to P.J. Tucker. Well, it's not T.J., it's P.J., and it works. These two would continue to play the two-man game. Mouton, the tip out to Tucker. They go back and forth. Finally, Tucker is able to finish. Far end of the court. Tucker, quick hands in the steal. Taylor's going to take it down the court, give it back to Tucker. Huge night for Tucker. 18 points, 13 rebounds. And they would end in style. Mouton, the drive for the jam. A top 10 nominee abusing the baseline. Texas in a blowout win, as you would expect. He's an NIT. Bob Knight in Texas Tech up against Davidson. Early in the first half, Ronald Ross, the steal. Up court, the pass. Andre Emmett, no problem. Texas Tech was up 5-4 early. It would get better. <laughs> Later in the first half, Emmett, steal of his own. And again, taking it to the hole. Tech would have 18 steals on the night. Joseph Works working it. Oh! Texas Tech a winner. And after the game, the coach did some teaching, helping out the media. It's not the opposite side of the ball in basketball. It's at the other end of the floor. The opposite side of the ball is there's a lot of grass involved in that game. No grass out here. That's the difference. Just, just remember when you're at a game and you see grass, it's the opposite side of the ball. But if you see hardwood out there, it's the other end of the floor. I try to help you young guys in this profession you've chosen. It's one or two steps above prostitution. <laughs> nice. Gosh. I'd like to say something, but I'm not allowed. <laughs> And the top right, UConn Huskies facing Nevada, and we're talking the Ben Gordon Show. That's right. According to Mecca Okafor, Ben was doing all the scoring, the cheerleading. It was the BG Show. Can't you watch? Just watch. How did Gordon prepare for this effort as you watch him do all the things he can do? I just sat in my room and meditated. Gordon was 12 of 20 from the field. The crowd at Gamble was chanting, you can't stop him. Gordon, 9 of 12 from the free throw line as well. He does so much, this junior, and he's one of the reasons why UConn is ranked number one. Gordon, four of four from three-point land. He finished with a career-high 37 points. The only other Husky to score more in a single game was Ray Allen with 39. UConn cruises. I just try to feed off my teammates. I'm trying to use a lot of the screens, you know, that sent for me. And I just try to bring, you know, more energy than I had um, on Monday. You know, I felt I didn't play, you know, with a lot of energy, and that's something I try to focus on tonight. And Gordon leads the way. His previous career high was 32 against Miami. Matchup of two of the most heralded freshmen in the country. Chris Humphreys, star freshman, had a great night on Monday. So did Utah's freshman Andrew Bogut. As you compare and you make your own judgment. Utah up. 
Andrew Boga driving to the hoop, gets the basket, and one gives Utah an 11-point lead. Very next play, Gophers on the run, Aaron Robinson to Humphreys. 20 points, 10 boards for Humphreys. And then Richard Cheney can't find it, doesn't have range here, but Bogut will be there for the follow-up. 19 points, 18 rebounds for Andrew Bogut. Utah wins. Bill Self's first counter is a Jayhawk hosting Chattanooga. The Mocs, Kansas has won 30 consecutive home openers. Last time Kansas lost a home opener, December of 72, President Nixon was not a crook. The Corleone said, well, that was another story. And whatever happened to Sally Struthers? Back to present day, all in the Kansas family. Oh. Chattanooga led by as many as 10 in the first half. You saw Wayne Simeon go down there, and it reminded of us of him going down here in January. Missed six weeks with a shoulder injury, but he was okay, and so was KU. Simeon, ouch. 21 points, eight rebounds, Kansas by 18, and then Jeff Graves backdoor Keith Langford. He had a game-high 24, and Kansas wins 90-76. to 76. Number three, Michigan State, a winner of 26 straight season openers, opening up with Buck now at the Breslin Center. I got the stat of the night in this highlight later on. I'm going to give it to you. Second half, that's Chris Hill. Spartans would close the game with a 15-2 run. Here's Shannon Brown. He had eight points. Hill again for three here. He had 12. But the stat of the night right here, Bucknell, the Bison, they missed, missed 16 of 17 free throws in this game. Missed 16 out of 17. Run them for hours. Next second round of the preseason NIT, Bob Knight's kids, they know how to steal the basketball. Early first half, Andre Emmett pilfering the pass, and he sends it off the glass. One of four steals for Emmett. Texas Tech up 13-7 later. Jerry Jackson pokes it loose. He had three steals. Red Raiders up by 12. More Texas Tech defense. Devon Giles, one of three steals for him. They're up 38. Michael Marshall, the basket, elbow foul. He had four steals. Bob Knight. What's up with this defense? I think our defense had a continuity to it throughout the whole 40 minutes with, again, through our whole lineup, which is really important to us uh, from the standpoint of, uh, of improvement as a team. Texas Tech 19 steals versus UMass. They win 90-50. Here's college hoops. Dayton Pepperdine, look at this. In fact, look twice more. Terrence Johnson of Pepperdine elevating, but uh, unfortunately the Waves lost to the Flyers 90 to 77. Roy Williams is the new basketball strategist at North Carolina, taking over the Tar Heels program after 15 seasons in Kansas. Coach's March to March madness may depend on the health of May. Sean May, back after breaking a foot last season. He's so valuable that Williams says had May not gotten hurt, old Roy would still be at KU because Doherty would still be at UNC. There's old Roy right there. The players call him coach. Mr. Fixit got a standing O. Hosting ODU, that's Old Dominion, and that's Rashard McCants, career high eight assists. There's May, 17 points. More Carolina, 11 ODU turnovers in the first half. McCants the steal. This is the Jackie Manuel for the lay-in. Manuel had 12 points. Second half, all Carolina. Tar Heels breaking. Raymond Felton, alley-oop. Jawad Williams slamming, he had 12, and UNC wins 90 to 64. Dukies opened their season at home against Detroit. The visitors acted like they were the Pistons. Duke acted like it was asleep. Down 12 zip. Well, dunk. Dang. Goaltending called on Detroit. That's Duke's first points of the game. They shot just 29% in the first half. Trailed by two. Second half, James Theus to Willie Wallace. A 20-point dog. Detroit up by four. Duke wakes up, heats up. Chris Duhon, three points. Sparked a 13-nothing run. And then the freshman, dang, 21 points. Eight boards. 664th win for Coach K. Ties him with Coach Wooden. Those close to Baylor basketball, Harvey Thomas became a household name this past summer for all the wrong reasons. Thomas had been befriended by Patrick Dennehy, the Baylor basketballer who was murdered, allegedly, by a former teammate. Thomas became part of the Dennehy investigation and remains in the Bear program, but he was not in a Baylor uniform Saturday for the regular season opener. Of the eight scholarship players left in Waco, Thomas is the only one whose eligibility has still not been cleared. Baylor hosting Texas Southern. Moment of silence in honor of Dennehy before the game. Scott Drew, he's your new head coach there. Dave Bliss, who cares? First half off the inbounds, Ellis Kidd Jr. triples. Baylor was in control and 
Not supposed to root, but probably are rooting for the Baylor Bears this season. Terrence Thomas there, and Baylor wins it 72 to 59. Sacred Heart and UConn, not part of the preseason NIT, just one of those routine out-of-conference beatdowns. Calhoun, Jim Calhoun looking for that 650th career win. We're circling Ben Gordon to make it easier to find him. Yeah, but see, then he's not really circled on the court, which makes him a lot harder to find if you're Sacred Heart. That's good for three. 21 first-half points for Gordon. Still in the first, Talik Brown, Omeka Okafor slamming. He had 23. Now the key basket, 98-52. Let's get to 100 up top, Gordon. Thank you. Free food or something like that for everybody. UConn wins it 111-64, and the football team's ball eligible.